Hi everyone, Murendeni Machinya Timbi here, originator of uh, Genco board game. Uh, this is the game I'm holding in front of me. Um, you may wonder <clears throat> what the game is all about. Uh, so as the name explains, it's a generating company. So the players here will assume the role of a electricity generating company uh, and they'll be competing uh, to trade um, selling electricity um, as a generating company. So I will explain what the game is about. Um, basically, uh, at the bottom here, you've got a timeline. It's basically a day from midnight up until 11 p.m. at night. And then you have got different technologies uh, generating electricity. Uh, the long line here, colon nuclear, just show that it generates throughout the day. We have got wind generating at these periods, as well as solar generating during the day. And then you have got your open cycle gas turbines and hydro pump storage, which are used for picking plants on both sides, reflected here in red. And then the green color um, represent an off peak. And then the orange, it's your picking period. And then your yellow, it's your standard tariff. So the idea for the game is you have got a ball um, which you need to roll as a player. It will run on the grid. Depending on the final position of the ball, that will determine how much load you need to generate as well as the type of technology you need to choose from. For example, on this position, it means that your options of technology can only be solar, coal or nuclear, and you're only allowed to choose two. Um, each technology has got 10 techs, um, as you can see here. This is solar PV techs. And then a player is only allowed to take one tag at a time per technology. So you can randomly take any tag, doesn't have to be from the top. In this case, you can generate one gigawatt. So there are different tag outcomes. Um, you can get sync failure, um, you can generate 4 gigawatt, you can get cloud cover as an example, or you might have to do maintenance on the power plant. So each technology um, has got different techs, similar to coal, where you can generate, for example, 10 gigawatt, or you might not be able to generate because there's a turbine vibrating, um, or there's a wet coal. Um, so these are some of the examples of how you can play this game where you're only allowed to take one tag. After you take one tag, depending on the outcome of the tags. So again, if you were supposed to generate 25 gigawatt here, if this was the final position, and your tags, you only generate um, 15 gigawatt is an example. It means that you've got a shortfall of 10 gigawatts, so you'll have to pay a penalty. But if you meet the load and you generate 25 gigawatt, you'll be paid. In this instance, you'll be paid twice because you generate during a standard tariff of the rate. So a maximum of six players can play this game at a time. Um, and the age limit, um, it's um, from at this stage looking at metrics and higher. Um, it can be used for business schools um, as well as uh, university students um, and, and the corporate. So the idea of the game is really to s simulate the electricity market. How will the market look like if there are multiple private electricity generators selling electricity into the grid? So. Each player will be representing a generating company. The player which sells more electricity makes more money, and the player who generate less obviously won't make more money. And the winner will be based on the person who makes more money. So at the beginning of the game, each player will be given a note of 100 million um, to start with, and then depending on how much they generate, or the penalty imposed, they'll use this to be paid with. So the idea is to be strategic. Obviously, you'll make more money if you're selling electricity on your peak period 
or the red sh shaded areas where you know that you can multiply by five the amount of money you will be able to supply or generate electricity with. So if you generate electricity on a standard tariff, which is yellow, that will be multiplied by twice. On the green or off peak or low demand, um, there won't be a multiplier here. Everything will be multiplied by one on a one to one basis. So a strategic player will try to always place the ball on the red zone so that they can generate more money. Obviously to be on the red zone doesn't mean that you're going to get a generate tag, but at least it gives you a higher probability for being able to make more money. And after nine rounds, the player with most money is the winner. There will be another tag where a player will be given an option to either choose to pay or pass. And that will be based on a question asked. Um, there are cards which um, a player will pull. If a question is asked uh, in terms of, for example, which technology is the least expensive and the player answer that correctly, they will be able to be uh, paid for that. So the idea of the game is to educate players about electrical principles as well as understanding electrical markets. So electricity by nature, you cannot undersupply or oversupply. When you undersupply, that's when load shedding occurs because your supply is not matching your demand. And then if you oversupply as well, it's not good because your system become unbalanced. So what you're aiming for is to ensure that your supply matches your demand. So if a player generates more than what the load requires, um, the player will be penalized on a fixed 10 million fee. But if a player under supply than what they were supposed to generate, uh, the player will only be penalized the difference of what the load was supposed to be versus what they generated. The aim here is that you need to ensure that you generate exactly what your load or the final position of the ball requires or determines. That's how you get paid more money. Thank you.